welcome back to the Swisher Family Farm. I'm Amy and today I'm going to be planting some onions in our garden. Uh, we have these bags of little onion bulbs and I'm going to um, plant them <clears throat> here in our soil. Justin's got it all ready for me. Um, this soil is just a similar mix to what we did our potatoes um, and that was 50% um, compost, 40% uh, sand, and then 10% peat moss and then we mixed it in with the soil that we already put in the beds. <clears throat> um, and that is because onions, in order to grow big onions, the onions need to have, um, be able to expand. So they have to grow in loose soil. If they're not in loose soil, then you're gonna have small, compact onions. And we don't, we want big onions because we love onions. We Justin uses onions on almost in, in almost every dish that he cooks, so we certainly want to make sure that he has the onions that he needs to be able to, to cook dinners, right? Yeah, well, we are planning a little late because... Yeah. But we're going to give it a go. Yep. This is a lot later in the season than we anticipated we would be planting, but building the garden beds and getting all the dirt in here and getting it all leveled off so that we could build the garden beds um, took a lot longer and was a lot more expensive than we anticipated it was going to be. Um, fortunately, we got um, a good friend of us, a good friend of ours, helped us out with the dirt in exchange for some vegetables. So um, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll be uh, sharing that, uh, sharing the riches of the garden later on. But so we are planting onions a little bit later than we anticipated. But it's still April, so um, and that's when we should be planting them for our zone so we're going to give it a go and cross our fingers and hope our onions will grow next year. So <clears throat> as I said on a previous video when you buy things at the store um, a lot of times they'll come with little little instructions written on the label. Um, this is general instructions. Um, you should always do your own research, check online, talk to other people in your area that are also growing gardens um, to figure out what works best in your area with your soil type. Um, this is just general instructions like it tells you in uh, where we are in Tennessee we can plant these anytime from March to April. Um, fortunately we didn't plant it earlier in April because uh, last week we had a freeze or almost a freeze and uh, it was it was really cold here so I think if we'd have planted them it might have done them some damage. So um, pay attention to uh, the instructions. This says three to four inches apart and a depth of one to two inches. It depends on how big the bulbs are because when you plant onions you want to leave the top just sticking out of the soil so you can see it. So I'll grab one that's got a green thing on it. Here we go. This one you can see has green on the top. So this one we want to plant it so that this part is still sticking out of the soil. This is going to stay out and stay, uh, stay up. And then as the onion grows Sometimes you'll have to come up and brush the dirt away so that this part stays up um, and stays out in the sun. And that's what this is going to soak up the sun and going to grow and make the onion tasty, tasty. And so these little bags have 100 onions in them. So I'm sure we may not get 100, but I'm sure we're going to get some. <laughs> so uh, uh, we should be able to use those onions for quite a while. All right, so when I'm planting onions, I don't even really use my trowel because I don't have to plant them very deep because you want the the um, the green part to be to continue sticking out of the soil. So what I like to do is like I'll take this little one right here and I will just dig a hole with my finger and put the onion in and then cover it up but make sure to leave the green part up. And if the skin has come off, that's okay because they're going to grow another one. So 
So right there is the onion, right there. One of the things that onions can be planted with is a tomato. So we're going to put some tomatoes in here with the onion bed. So that's what this hole is for. And that's a rock. My garden assistant has brought me over a tomato. Yes, I have. <laughs> this one is called a better boy. It is we have to bury two thirds of the plant, so I gotta dig deep. Yep. I forgot about that. I gotta be careful too that I don't bury my onions over here put the dirt this way because that's where all the... This way? Yep. There we go. So, and you can always check the hole by just sticking the thing down in there so you can see how it is with the container. And this is probably a good height. So, we're going to plant it in the hole up to the first set of leaves right here. If there's any below that, you want to pull those off. And so this first set of leaves right here is where how deep we're going to plant it because this will help make this like a tree root and it'll it'll grow and it'll help give the plant a really stable base. Alright, so I'm gonna, you saw me plant the tomato there, um, in with the onion, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this row. Um, even on fast forward, I don't think you want to sit me, see me um, make a little hole in the dirt, drop in an onion, cover it up. That's gonna be really tedious, and <laughs> even on fast forward, I don't want to see it. So we're gonna plant um, 9 to 12 more onions, and then we're gonna plant uh, rosemary. And then we're gonna plant 9 to 12 more onions, and then we'll plant um, tomatoes. Um, and so we're going to do that as we go down through the bed. Um, but we have a hundred bulbs here, so I don't know if this bed is big enough. We'll figure it out. Yeah. <clears throat> but we want to thank you for stopping by the Swisher Family Farm. We really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it's free. Um, and hit the thumbs up. It um, helps our videos. The more thumbs up we get, the more uh, our videos are promoted. So please hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Um, feel free to put a comment down if you like what we did, if you don't like what we did. Uh, we answer all the comments, so please put a comment in and uh, we'll, uh, we want to start a conversation about our garden. Um, thank you for stopping by.